Who's a good boy? Hi guys, this is Red Dog Props. We are going to scratch build the Millennium Falcon. Let's get to it. So, I downloaded a ton of Millennium Falcon images off the internet. To help with scale, I opened a top and bottom view of the Falcon in Photoshop. I put a 1 inch grid on each and had a local print shop print them in grayscale. This will help keep the proportions relatively accurate. The Millennium Falcon is going to be 48 inches long and 36 inches wide. We will use mainly EVA foam with greeblies made from old printer parts and armature wire and whatever hunks of junk are laying around in the garage. I generally use super glue on most small parts and contact cement on the bigger stuff. Here I am finding the center by drawing a line from the corners. Then I used a jig idea from SKS Props to cut out the circle on an angle with the jigsaw. I use a respirator when dremeling EVA foam and a shop vac to catch the dust. I use cheaper floor mat foam for structural parts of the build. And BAM! We have a sunflower. A wagon wheel? I'm not sure. A few more supports are added. These panels gave a lot of structural support. I cut up the printout to pencil in where things will go and sometimes poke holes through the paper directly into the foam, making recessed areas to hold the greebly parts. Now I'm cutting out sections of the Millennium Falcon hull to insert greebly parts. Here we're cutting in holes for vents. Here I wanted the vents to be a little recessed into the hull of the Falcon. This part was to hold the universal docking ring. mandibles needed support so I put dowel rods in for that purpose. And of course some concussion missile tube construction. Now we're leveling up underneath the belly of the Falcon. And now I'm adding more parts to the cockpit. Mm -hmm. 
basic shapes of the subspace hyperdrive. Here we're building the satellite dish. This part I'm making the vents using some sharpened cookie cutters. Now we're scoring or cutting the EVA foam open and we're going to add some heat to it and when you do that the EVA foam opens up. I ran some wires for lighting off camera and I'll put the batteries underneath the satellite dish. I made a simple compass to help with the panel curve and a template to help with the panels also. Here I use some aluminum for panel overhang support. Now I sharpened a screwdriver to cut panel notches. I'm not sure if I mentioned or not, but there are a lot of panels on the Millennium Falcon.
I sent out a request on Facebook to my friends if, to see if they had any old printers, and I got several, and I used those for making the Greeblies for the Falcon. I drew a few more guides on the belly of the Falcon. This part is to hold the display rod, and I fixed it so that I can angle the Millennium Falcon at three different angles. I have a few different size leather punches that are great for making holes in EVA foam. There's a website that's pretty useful called blocklayer.com, which is handy for making cone pattern templates, which I'll link below. And here we're making more little parts for the subspace hyperdrive. Since this is my first YouTube video, I'm limited to 15 minutes per video. So here's a beauty shot teaser. Come back and watch as we finish building and painting the Millennium Falcon. Thanks. And don't forget to like and subscribe.